So we, we're starting our conversation a bit early because we've got so much to say. We have, yes. Let's 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 wind it back. Oh, you, to, you 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 wind, wind it back, Jesse. We'll crank it back to like okay. yesterday. Yep. When we normally mill, mill, meet in a cafe, which we won't mention because that's advertising. But uh, well, do I we? don't know. But well, I think we can. It's a, it's a it's. We're but you go for it, and then you'll well, get done for it. We're reporting facts, right. and we're not going to be rude about them. Right. We can say that the Wilkinson's Cafe in the centre of the Guildhall. It's called Wilco's. Wilco. Wilco. Yeah, yeah. Wilco. Sorry, Wilco. Yeah, Wilco Cafe. Is 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 quite okay. The Wi-Fi does vary depending on where you sit. Right. We would say, and they have a, at the moment they have a refill deal. Yes, that's the nice thing about it. I think we could mention that. Mm, we can do. And if there's another cafe with a refill deal, we'd we'd like to know. Right. All right. So we they, we meet there. Yeah, and you're, you you happen so to land up about two minutes past. I'm hour. slightly late, slightly quite often. Late, but I do, do forgive you because you walked all the way in, which is very brave of you. <laughs> well, <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm, I, I, I need the exercise here They're and there. Good. That's good. Good for you. Then we, we sat down and you talked about this very fancy name, which well, I still haven't quite got no. the terms of. Well, we aren't going to move away it. from this, but I'll, I, OK, I'll start again from that, then I'll explain this, how this came about. Um, Boris Johnson, when he was Mayor of London, came up with this Albertopolis East concept. Uh, the, the Olympic Park, uh, the, especially the bit nearer to Stratford, is now a, a property development area, really. And there's lots of things going to be there, including universities and art resources and things like that. And he wants to call that Albertopolis or Albertopolis East, uh, as there's already an Albertopolis at the bottom of Hyde Park with the Royal Albert Hall and the uh, Science Museum and uh, bit, bits and pieces like that. What's, what was left over from the Great Exhibition, really? And um, I thought, well, you could have an Albertopolis West, which would be based on the Royal Albert Memorial Museum and all the bits that have grown up around that. But... JT, just explain. You thought you thought Albertop Albertopolis is too long a word, really. It's too fancy. Yeah. I don't think people will remember. I don't remember it, <laughs> <laughs> especially when you had one too many. Um, it was a long uh, word. It doesn't really mean much. So something shorter. We've made it shorter, haven't we? So yeah, well, you have. Yeah. Well, we're just going to call it Albert Space. Yes, West. Albert Space West. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so yeah. so so Albert Space West is an area around the the RAM, the Royal Albert Memorial Museum in Exeter. Would you like me to describe the yes, route? Yes, you, you, well, describe what we, what we did yesterday, JD, and, and why, how, the, how the space seems to have got a little bit wider than we first thought of. Well, we went down to the college, which is just over the road from here, which we have been once before for coffee, uh, we, and um, we weren't too impressed with that one, but it doesn't matter. Um, but we, we stood there thinking, where, how can we draw up a map which will include also the um, college, the central station, uh, and where we are here at the Phoenix. So we've come up with this pizza shape, <laughs> which is quite good. I thought it was a fan, really. I've ne now you've given me well, a map of it. Yeah. It looks like a fan. Well, it, uh, perhaps a fan is yeah. a... Yeah. Um, an easier th concept yes, to get your head around. Concept is is a, 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 like a fan. Yes, so it'd be a cool thing. Um, this it centres around the, um, the street of Queen Street, which, if you know it, has the central station. So we thought that was the centre, more or less. Well, yes, J J just be before that, just to just to explain the the route that we took and. What I what I was previously thinking of as as the Albert Space, just that the history of it, I think, is that the the original museum also had places of study and also a library. So the building we're in at the moment, the Phoenix Arts Centre, as it now is, uh, I think was built to uh, expand on the educational bit of it. I think there was a school of art in this building at, at one point, and also the start of the University of Exeter University um, but they built I can remember there's a plaque just by the door when you come in this building the Phoenix building but there's a there's another sign I think on top of it 
but it's some, somebody could tell us anyway what the history of this building is. Um, and then the the library obviously is is beyond beyond that the the, the modern Devon County Council extra central library. So our our route yesterday was uh, from the, the car park outside the library through the Phoenix through through the Ram out to Queen Street, and we headed towards the college because they are now trying to revive the art school. But I think it was when we got there that we realised we were in a, a much larger space. That's where the map was. That's where the map was. That's, and that's <laughs> what we decided then, how far to put it. So it will uh, it will include absolutely everything. And I've been looking at what we call um, what's in the middle, really, of it. And, of course, you've got the castle. Yes. Uh, the castle's part of it. Yes. So it's the quite a like defence and that sort of thing. So it's quite a quite a good little area. So we need to describe where it is so people get some ideas, don't we? Yeah, well I think probably people people listening to, to uh listening to Phonic now, the 'cause the the aerial for Phonic is on the roof of the Phoenix. So we imagine You can't miss that. You can't know. <laughs> people, people who walk by the Phoenix will see it up there. <laughs> That's right. See a mile off. But we yeah. could we could imagine that it's a it, it's in a circle. I know the air, the signal varies in different directions, mm. but let's say there's a circle it's near, going it's out from nearly, here. It's nearly in the centre of our pizza. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. It is. That's so it's quite and, culling. And um, Cafe Fifty Five is is sort of off centre as well a little yes. bit. Yes. Yes, it's like central thing. Yes. Yeah, but having Queen Street is quite royal in the middle, I find. Well, yeah, I think the whole the whole area is is kind of Victorian, Victorian in its, yes, its ambitions. Right. Is it Queen Victoria? It would be. Yes, that's right. Yes, so we can describe where, where we we haven't walked around it yet. We should go not walk all of it. it. Not no, all of it. We did a little bit of it, didn't we? We decided to to um, advance it to the main high street from North Street to North New North Road. So that's quite a long piece of the high street. That's uh, going at the top end of Queen Street. Yes. So that's uh, and Marks and Spencer's end, isn't it? Yeah, the yeah, it's Marks yeah. and Spencer's corner. Yes, right. And then you go all up to another... And have you noticed, you see, if you look on the map, mm. we've got three roundabouts. Three roundabouts. Three roundabouts. Shall I just mention the the map is on Facebook at the at the moment. Yes, if you look on the Wild yeah. Show Facebook page. Yes, and, and it's on in front of me at the moment. All oh, right, <laughs> that's fine. We can get good. All oh, right, right. Yes, but I was just saying for the audience, Jody, to, yeah, to, to, our, our listeners, <laughs> our listeners can can find the map on yes Facebook on the Wild Show Facebook page. Yes, I've taken Google Maps as well just to see if there's anything in that area yeah. which we have missed on. But, OK, so we, we go up towards New North Road, which is opposite Paris Street and Sidwell Street. Yep. OK? Yep. And we turn left there into North North Road, which I've just driven down. Right. And you come round to the Clock Tower. Yes, yeah, so clock, the Clock Tower's at sort of one end of it, really. Yes. that's We thought that was one of the pillars of, the, of our... Um, well, it's the top end of our pizza... Yes, <laughs> <laughs> it's the round bit, but we thought it was a quite a good sort of stopping point. Then we came down to down. Uh, I don't know what that road was called. Did, um, we didn't find that road. What that road was, would we? What the road that goes over to St David's Hill? Yes, that's right. It, oh yes, it's called uh, here we go, Richmond Road. Okay, Richmond Road. <laughs> okay, okay. I don't live here, but I'm, I'm getting good at quite good at this. And then we join into to Iron Bridge Road. Right. Uh, and down to North Street again, and attach on to High Street. So it's like a, as I said, like a fan. Or we'll, pizza, we'll call pizza. it or a pizza. Well, yeah. we'll try. We'll try out both both words and see what response yes. we get. <laughs> well, the funny some, version or the serious some version. people. Will, some people will like the pizza mm. idea. Mm. I expect. So in the centre, it's nearly the centre uh, central station. Which is the railway station? Yeah, which it's, is good. Which is good because you and, can get you can get into it quite yes, easily. Yeah, that's right. That's on Queen Street, so it's almost almost in the centre. But what is number five on my map? That's in the centre. <laughs> Whatever that okay. is. Okay. Well, yes. So we're using we're using an Exeter College map. Yeah. And they concentrate on their own buildings, obviously, mm. and they've sort of missed out the 
well, Phoenix that, that and the, be the, the Ram. Mu- and the music college. That's that's, oh, that one. There, so that will be your the centrepiece of your fan. It's, it's the music. As music, there you go. Right. So with, with that and, and Phonic FM, yep. you've got two music points inside your fan. Well, Brilliant. that's well, yeah, which is... <laughs> Well, it's interesting, isn't it? Yeah, it is, yes. When you look at it like that, you know, it's great. And we didn't plan it like this. We just sort of said, oh, we just introduced that bit. And when we stood back, it looked like a fan. I thought, was, that's great. Yeah. A little bit of pizza. So, <laughs> so we've, got a, we've got a shape and a space. Yes. And obviously, people may say, well, the, the area around or Albert space is smaller than that it may be just it will be but we or taken, it might be bigger I think than we're that te- taking it big to incorporate what's really happening close to the center of exeter yes so that we can we can get on with the next phase of our <laughs> of our quest yes <laughs> which which going back just a little bit further is mm. is to extend the studio really yeah. I mean, we started to do this because we we want to we want to see what we can do by moving about in the city, yes, not it, just not just sitting in this basement radio studio, right? Okay. And so yesterday, we I I just went back and took four photographs or right. three photographs, one of which is edited with the shape of the fan or pizza. Yes, in, yes. Into I, noticed, it. I, noticed, I noticed you didn't take it down there, so I thought, well, ha, he went back again. <laughs> yes, no, I went back. I went back later. Later when I thought well, about as it. As I said, I, I've looked at on Google Maps and I've taken a photograph of the Google Maps, so you can actually see what's in it, in right. building wise. So right. we'll have a look at that as well. Right. Okay. Well, what 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 strikes me is I'd like to know more about the history because we we thought what we try and do over time is to describe. Uh, how all these buildings came about, mm. what the what the background to it is, yeah, and then what we think is happening at the moment, mm. and then what we think the technology is that yes. might change it. Yes, what was the, what was the, the technology for the whole of Exeter, but the centre being the centre. <laughs> well, I think the set, this this area is is interesting. Um, there was there was a, an, a documentary on on PBS Public Broadcasting Service. They have a, a UK mm. channel, mm. and they had a documentary about about Prince Albert, which mm. might they might be repeating it. I don't know. I saw it last week, I think. Mm-hmm. Um, and the great exhibition, he had he had quite a lot of trouble getting it established um, mm. because it was seen as too modern and pushing things too fast and so mm. forth, and. Um, I think also, I, this is just my my take on it. Uh, I think he was introducing glo- global manufacturing and uh, commerce and technology into the UK uh, in a way that maybe was too 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 much. So there's lo- there's lots of I- ideas there that I think mm. relate to modern situations as well. Uh, but however you want to think about it, the 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 idea then. I think integrated art and uh, technology or science. I I'm, I'm not sure they distinguish science and technology too far apart. I don't think they are, in the way. Well, I d- I'm, we we don't think of them as you know. You and I maybe don't think of them as separate. Well, they probably are, were at school when I was when I was at school. In the way, they're, oh, they're, they're taught got, separately. Yeah, yeah you got science, but you didn't do technology because technology wasn't around in those days. <laughs> You know, it was uh, you know science and all the the arts and that sort of thing. But uh, yeah, it's, uh, now it crosses over because you use sort of technology to gain you know whatever you want to find in knowledge wise. Well, yeah, I mean everybody everybody is using mobile devices mm. and they're all hooked into the internet, aren't they? You can mm-hmm. say that. So this space, it struck me when, when we sort of thought about it as a, as a larger space than we first started with, that a lot of it now is, is uh, cafes and restaurants and places to sit around. Mm. Most of them have got Wi-Fi of some sort. Yes. There's two BT buildings within mm. that space. Mm. Whether that means there's lots of Wi-Fi, I don't know, but uh, they, they are there. Uh, so I'm thinking maybe that's what the city is going to become, that stuff gets delivered over the internet, but you still need uh, a sociable space. 
that people meet up in every so often. Yes, if you don't have that, you don't have integration. No. In between people. That's no. Is, 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 that, that would be... You, 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 need, it, you need it some you, of the time, don't yeah, you? Yeah, you do need a time where you converse. If you don't, then everybody would be talking on phones. You, know, and, uh, <laughs> you wouldn't know what the person was, you see. It's, it's like, it's like we, we, we could put two, two phones in the studio right here talking to each other. And we go off and have a cup of coffee, and <laughs> but I wouldn't know anything about you. You see, that's the thing. Because it's <laughs> so you're getting to know the other person right. by talking to them. Right. Yes. The 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 art school, I think, is an interesting idea because I'm I'm also interested in in what happened to which bits of it. Because mm. Exeter University didn't seem very interested in in the art aspect. Mm-hmm. They they went for a lot of the subjects, but the art bit ended up, uh, I think, down by the river, sort of Earl, Earl Richards Road. There was a site there which has now been redeveloped as housing. And then it became part of Plymouth University. And then it was moved to Plymouth. Um, so quite what happened with that, I'm not sure. Or why Exeter University wasn't interested in the art. But they're not, they're not interested that much in the, in the music at the, at the moment, I don't think. What I've, what I've heard is that the... The music seems to have moved into the student union building. Mm. I might, I might be wrong about that. It just could be just a change of which, or what sort of students they have from abroad, or here in Great Britain, which want to study. And they, well, I think all universities have to go with the flow, as they say. Yeah. And that yeah. is one of the flows. Yes. It's, it's uh, if a student wants to study. You know how how to uh, I don't know how to grow beetroot more than sit down and compose a piece of music, then that's how it has you have to go that way because that's how the college will survive. Well, yeah, that makes that mm. makes sense. Mm. But it so so for whatever reason, um, the, the the idea of an art school has ended up as part of the college mm. in in terms of Exeter. So we can say, okay, that's great. There's, a, there's, a, there's, there's, there's obviously, well, the creative industries. That seems to be another word that they're using. So if you look at the building, it's mm. one of the photographs I've got there. They've, they've got the word art school, but they've hung, they've continued with uh, centre for creative industry as well. Right. So, so got it there. So perhaps it's <laughs> one, one day they put up. Oh, we're an art school. And then tomorrow they were a technology school or whatever. So they put a new sign up outside the window. <laughs> well, JT, now hang on. I'm sure they have serious intentions with all their departments and buildings. <laughs> so we're not just silly radio people uh, no, making things no, up. No, you, you look at this. <laughs> you can look at it in a, a serious light, or you know, and talk about something serious. But you've got to have a bit of humour in it. I think. Well, yes, in, yes, in, in, in your output look of the whole situation but that could be it you see they, they could say next year oh we're not doing art we're doing music I think the college has to stay up with the times oh and sure the university. yes so yes. you know you, you can't say this is an art college we don't do anything else but art and they all drive people away because they don't want to do art they want to do other things so you've got to go with the flow I think yeah they want to do photography mm. and they can yeah. find out about art Any, anything like as that, it yeah. goes along yes but what 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 strikes me is if if um well we 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 incidentally said that we we basically want good coffee and Wi-Fi access yeah and that's about um, what we need yeah I mean obviously this 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 studio is a bit more sophisticated than that mm. it's got a certain amount of equipment in it mm. um, but if that's if that's a typical case then. I'm not sure university campus is required with I d- I don't libraries so. and lecture halls. Yeah, and I, d- I think they'd just be at the place of learning. And then the social side of it will be in the, in the city. This is what they're trying to tr- strive, isn't it, with all the new cafes and restaurants been opened up over the last year or so. It's bringing that sort of um, uh, college thing out of college and into into the 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 world of everybody else. Well, do you, do you think so? Because they're trying to put. Well, they've they've opened up um, Pret a Manger mm. in in the middle of the campus. Right. So that what's what's that? I haven't about? been up there for some time, so I don't know what's up there. But um, 
you have a certain amount if, if for instance if you have you, know, you can't come keep coming out for your meal and go back again because that takes time but um there's the social side of meeting other students yeah are, is happening actually in the center in the city center because you look yeah. at all those all those new restaurants just across the way from here yeah on the other They're side of queen street with with uh, with with uh, the college people with with their with their phones and their computers and yeah so but are they from Exeter College or are they from the Exeter University as well do you think well, I don't know it do- doesn't really make a difference does it <laughs> <laughs> could be done from I don't know Timbuktu but you know, it's it's putting the 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 academic side of it yeah from the reality side of it. The energetic side is just for you to learn something. Yeah. But you've got to you've got to put it into practice, and putting by practice, you go and talk to somebody. Yes. Yes. So yes. You or practice. you or you use these devices mm. and the yes devices the, the or whatever, whatever, whatever yes, it is. Whatever, yeah. Whatever's going on. But if you if you sit in a college, gaining all this knowledge and you don't use it, what's the point? Uh, well, that's a, I think that's a good question. It is, isn't it? It's a very good question. It's a lot of people say, oh, I've got to go back and get my you know, degree in this and degree in that. And they say, what are you going to do? Well, I'm going to be a road sweeper. So, you know, it's, <laughs> it defeats the object, you know. I think I've got more qualifications and I don't have any. <laughs> <laughs> you, yeah, but you could drive a tractor. Uh, well, yeah, I can drive a tractor. I taught myself that. Yeah, I taught, I taught myself how to drive a car. You know, I taught everything myself. So you know, it's it's uh, it's life. You see, that's the thing. If you don't put, it's all right sitting in. You know, learning from somebody else. I feel, and you do learn quite a lot from it. But when I was at school, I didn't learn anything. I learned <laughs> most of my thing being out and about. Right. And and putting my skills to good use. Right. Well, I, that well, I think we'll come back to that. But the, yeah. the point I'm just going to repeat is that the the university moved out of the city centre for good reasons. It needed the space, mm. but it's quite possible that's no longer necessary mm. because we, well, I mean, it's good that we've got a big library building, mm. but a lot of people could find out quite a lot based on web access, essentially. Mm. So, but so all of it's online there's, now. Isn't there's a lot it? more so, scope for yeah. crossing over things. Yes. So the other thing, I don't. I mean, we're 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 thinking Chris will be here about past ten, but we'll we'll carry on to t- chat until our past ten mm-hmm. anyway, and then we will be playing some music. That we spoke about was was this idea of the studio, mm. because here here we are in in a, a proper FM radio studio, so we get reasonable sound as a result of it, but. What what do you what do you think is going on, JD, in terms of what we've got? Because so far we've done probably one on our on our Wednesday meetings. We've we've come up with one uh, recording of you describing what was g- going on or not going on in Bedford Square <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, ahead of the unexpected. Right. So unexpectedly, nothing was happening. Well, but that's that to me is much more live. Yep to me than sitting in front of a microphone trying to imagine what's happening outside the building in the way, isn't it? It's yes. like it's like for instance going to college as I say, going to college and learning all that sort of thing. But if you can't portray it to somebody else, it doesn't go move on. So if you if you're out and about and you're doing your you sort of say, Oh today's snowing, it's a lovely day or the sun's out or whatever um, and you're bringing that to somebody who who can't get out of the house. Yeah. It's um, it's quite a godsend, really, for them. You know, it brings the, the outside world inside and vice versa. But do, do you think that mobile phones, other sorts of devices, have advanced to the stage where the, the sound quality is going to be acceptable for broadcast? Well, it, right, it doesn't make any difference where you are. You know, if you're on the end of a phone, you're on the end of a phone. If you've got a microphone and a complete setup like that, you know, Top quality stuff. That's what you're. That's the output you're going to get. For what though? You might as well be in the studio to have that equipment. There, you 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 might as well do it like a rough thing. So it looks like we've made an effort, right, right, <laughs> in a roundabout way, <laughs> right, to put out something yeah. which uh, is what we call raw. Yes, and we'll see whether 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 the audience accept it, or probably mm. some part of the audience will be will be okay with it. Yeah. And other people would would prefer it to be refined a bit mm. as it goes along later. 
I mean, I I thought the um, the report the report from Bedford Square was quite all right. That was just recorded mm. on a mobile phone, and the, the sound was okay on that. Off the spur of my head, that was. It you was. See? It's what I saw, and that's reality. It's like. You know, saying uh, and, and I could say, well, I could say, look, I'm I'm now sitting opposite the Queen in Buckingham <laughs> Palace, and I could be telling a complete utter lie. You see, so the, but this this was something true because you actually filmed me, so uh, I couldn't go back <laughs> on it. But the fact is that it was it was bung a bung a microphone in front of my mouth and started talking, <laughs> and it, the best kind of do come out of you that way. Yeah, well, look, let's 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 say that we we'll continue to explore explore Albert's space. Yeah, uh, we're not absolutely sure what the boundary is, so we will cross over into uh, the BHS site mm -hmm. or Princess Hay. Mm -hmm. uh, we might, no, yeah. but we won't. Well, we'll see. Well, we'll Prin Princess Hay uh, to me was is a is a dead area really. It was uh, it was something which was brought out of the war after the war. Yeah. And the first Princess Hay wasn't very nice. Mm. But uh, but I did walk through it many times. But I, I, I have no interest actually in the new one myself. No, no. Architectural wise, you know, um, they're trying to put something modern into something old, and it's not. It's to me, it's not quite right. No. Mm. Well, all I'm, all I'm saying is we, we, we're prepared to experiment a little bit. Yeah. Oh, but yes, we'd, 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 we've actually got quite a clear idea where we think Albert Space is mm. and what it's about. Mm. And well, we did actually think of putting, as I say, with the clock tower on one end and then the cathedral at the other end as two main points of our pizza. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you can't eat them, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you can't eat it, but there are, there are pizzas available. Yeah, and, there are other pizzas available. And one, <laughs> <laughs> also a wide range of burgers, it yeah, has to be said. Yeah, you never know. <laughs> <laughs> but to have something like, you know, a royalty street in, yep. in the middle, yep. it's quite a good, good thing. I think it's a very good yes, thing. Yes, because everybody can relate to Queen Street. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And I actually did see the Queen go down Queen Street. You did? Many, many years ago, yes. When, oh. she went, when she came through, she went through Queen, down Queen Street. Oh, yeah, wow. To the college, uh, the university, sorry. Right, yes. 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 So I saw the Queen. In Queen Street. Yeah, I, I stood on the, right, on the right side of the car where she sits. Yes. And I could see her. Oh, well, that's wonderful. So that's my claim to fame. I saw the Queen in Queen Street. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's that's quite that's quite good. wonderful. Quite okay, wonderful. Okay, well, we'll continue with this because yes. um, it's quite interesting. You know, the fact that how we came across this particular shape. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't thinking of food at the time. No, no, <laughs> and I don't like pizzas anyway. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> so no. it's just you but know we, we can we can only keep going. We kept going on all, all morning on coffee. Yes. <laughs> so we will be thinking about food eventually. Well, we did have two coffees. So we did. Perhaps, perhaps that's what happened. <laughs> we did. But listen, uh, we'd, uh, we'd like to know um, about other places we can drink coffee that yes. have got excellent Wi-Fi. Yes, definitely. And I'd like to try new we'd places. like other, other people to take photographs or come up with maps. Yes, maps, where it is. Yeah. How to get around this particular space. Yes, and we'd like to know also about how to record sound, how to record video. We would, we would, we would really like to have an area where it's um, it's already set up, and we can just go and pop in and do a uh, a radio interview, you know, with somebody. Yes. So out of the blue, so you don't have to wait till, you know, your day of being on air here at Phonic FM. We can get you prepared beforehand. And edit out the swearing, <laughs> <laughs> or no. whatever it happens to be, <laughs> or the naughty words. So, yeah. So we looked at we looked at the BHS building yes. we, a couple of weeks ago. Yes. Because we've heard that part of the I think it's City Futures, yeah. Exeter right. City Futures, something like that. They they're thinking of what to it do with that. It building. doesn't come in our pizza, I'm afraid. Well, it's no, but it's on the edge of our pizza. It's on our ed the edge. You see, on the edge are more important probably when the things inside. You never know. Well, you never know. You never know how we're going to attack. But you. we basically want somewhere with good good wheel wheelchair access, easy to get in. Yes. Uh, right. Somewhere to store a uh, a tripod. Yes, a, a complete good walk in at any time. Well, most times of the day. 
Yes. So you can you don't have to book a time. You can just go in if it's available. Use it. Right. I've always been talking about this. You know. For, for well, ca- carry on, JT. Don't worry. Yeah. The, there are new uh, listeners joining time, us all the time. A long time ago, you see, I said it would be nice to have a, a the building where you could just walk in and do a program or a bit of a program. R- right. Like, for instance, Chris could come in and do some an interview with somebody there, and they don't have to come down to the studio, especially if they're in a wheelchair or two. And so uh, it's like a pop-in centre for technology. Yeah. And have good coffee. Yes, very Excellent important. Wi-Fi, <laughs> yeah, and, and be, the, be, that place is absolutely perfect for it because it, where it's situated, right next to a bus station, yeah, bus stop. Bus stop. Yep. So you can get off there. Yeah, yep. and it's a fairly what I call fairly quiet road. You know, it's only buses go up there, so you're quite good getting across it. And also, it's it's fairly central. Yeah, that, no, I think that's a, re- a yeah. reasonable reasonable spot. Yeah. But I, I had this vision a long time ago that um, because there's so much technology here in Exeter, much more than, should we say, in Totnes or mm-hmm. <laughs> Wilston Green Farmhouse or anything anywhere <laughs> like that, that it, it could have um, you know quite an impact on the uh, the college, the university, the, the all that sort of life, and because of the students being more in the city. Then on the outskirts of the city, yeah, you need a stronger, you know, some bond to keep them here, and to have something like this where you or I could pop in, you know, and and film something with somebody else, and then um, you know record something and we use it for the programs. It makes it makes it much more valuable, as we say. Yes. So we're we're all for this. If it does happen. If it does happen. Mm. But I, I think we should also just just look at ways in which you can use a phone or any sort of mobile device yeah. to come up with something yeah. just as it goes along. Yes. So that the... Well, you want you want the good guy to find out places where you can do recording quietly. Yes. Not in the middle of the library. That's pretty... Oh, <laughs> no, that's too... That's <laughs> <laughs> but some, no, something, the, something like that where it's not some, Something with not too much sound in the background. Mm. Yes. And not annoying anybody. Yes, we don't want clacking of cups... Yeah, well, you can have a little bit. <laughs> a little bit, OK. <laughs> Ambiance. <laughs> yes. Well, or mixtures of things, just to find out what people will accept. Because mm. um, when, 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 when Chris comes, what he's been doing the last couple of weeks, he's been trying out uh, Facebook Live yes. and FaceTime on yes. phones and so forth, all those sorts of things, which have been working all right to an extent. Mm. I'm sure we'll get better with those sorts of things. Mm. But there's all there's all kinds of um, forms of broadcast that we can we can do. Yeah. And I, I guess within that space or other spaces. Assume it's much better than the the days of when I started out, where it was <laughs> all you were, was was you in you in you in the studio, and you couldn't get a phone to go into the desk, so you had to. <laughs> <laughs> it's all done by pieces of paper thrown in the door, <laughs> that sort of thing. <laughs> and that was it. So it's quite crude. So I've gone through quite a lot in my time. So, you know, Chris has got very well, people uh, brought very you, easy people brought you a piece of paper saying there's been a phone call and this is what's yeah, on Yeah, that's the- right. It's been a phone call, that sort of thing. Or <laughs> stick it up in the window, you know, <laughs> that sort of thing. So it was all done visually, you know. Well, right, and we, right. And we had to portray it as, you know, <laughs> something. <laughs> right. Well, look. The only other thing, JT, we, it's about it's coming up to twenty two eleven. Right, so I right. think I think we've been we've been nattering on long enough. I think we covered it. Well, we we made a first stab at it. Well, anyway, it's a starting bro- um, block which we need. Yes, is um, so that uh, so we can tread lightly onto our path around our pizza. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> and we, we'd also uh, like to hear if anybody if anybody's going to visit. What we now call Albert Space Central or Albert Space shall we, East. Shall we also invite people who like to come to talk to us on a Wednesday? Uh, if yes, we, if we are, we will tell you when we're not going to be there. I'm having two weeks off over Christmas, but apart from that, if we're there, well, you're we, put, you're putting it onto Facebook, aren't I'll you? Onto Facebook, yes. So you are Jonathan Daly. And you can. I, uh, last time I checked, I was. <laughs> and you can uh, be you found. Forgot my name already. <laughs> oh dear. If um, <laughs> if well, I'm just saying. I'm saying that rather than JD because yeah. then they can find you. Yeah. Yes. So if they go to the Wild Show Facebook page, Wild Show, we'll put it on there. Yes. We could put it on there as well. And you could tweet it. 
Yes, I'll tweet it yeah, on. You tweet it. I'll tweet um, it as we not know. Yes, and if you would like to come and join us, do. Um, <laughs> we we are going to move about a bit. We, we won't always be in Wilkinson's no, or Wilco. No, no. We, 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 we'll, we, we'll move about a little bit. We tend to do that to write, to to plot the plot, as we say, <laughs> yes. and then we, then we go on from there. But we, I am from there from about eleven. We say eleven o'clock. Right. Well, I'm there just before. Okay, and I'm possibly late, uh, but yeah. not by much. Yes, we're coming. You can come and talk to us if you've got some any ideas. It'd be actually great, wouldn't it? Well, it would. Yes, and and, and I, I am going to mention um, Albert Space Central and Albert Space East. Mm. If anybody's visiting, mm. or can report back, yeah, we 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 want to stay in touch with whatever else is going on. Even if you put stuff on Facebook for us, it'd be wonderful. You know, we we could start our own Facebook page. Well, we'll see. We'll <laughs> see, see what sort of feedback we get. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, that's going a bit too far. But at the moment, we we do invite people to come and give their views or whatever if they've got information, and we'll make our journey a bit quicker. Yeah, <laughs> so I think at the minute we'll 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 if we keep it on the um, on the Wild Show Facebook page. Yes, yeah, we do it on that. And one. we'll see. And if it starts clogging it up too much with Albert Space yes. kind of stuff. We'll we'll start another one. Right. Okay. Okay, JD. I'm going to play. We've I'm going to talk for quite a long time. Gosh, we have. We have. My coffee. Well, I don't know. <laughs> it's round the corner. <laughs> Is it coffee time. I've forgotten. I've forgotten what. Well, what you've forgotten we've forgotten what you're got, doing now. But we've got lined up. But look, I'm going to press this button. Okay. And go we'll on. sort ourselves out. Okay. <laughs> 